Alrighty, alrighty. What are we getting? Let's only run you through what we've got in total right now. Spread that out. There you go, bud. A betta fish inside a homemade aquarium. What is going on, Charles? Welcome back to another video here. Today, uh, we found a box. Nick, Nick, I need the box. What? I need the box. This is the size aquarium that we're going to be using for this video. Um, as you know, I do these videos pretty often. It's like one of the series on my channel. We've done a bunch of them. Hence these titles and thumbnails right here. And they do fairly well every single time. So I'm back to do another one. This time is actually going to be legit. We're actually, we're going to build a legit one for... That was Nick, by the way. So we got our aquarium right there. Uh, and then we're going to go get some rocks, some plants. This right here is a homemade betta fish aquarium. Hey yo! Alrighty, alrighty. What are we getting? Really? Get mighty. some orange. All right. Do two of them. No, no, one. One. All right. Hey, by the way, this is Nick's tank. So whatever you get, you're making it. This is literally would be the same exact thing as a, an aquarium. Now you can see this, how big that is. So this right here is 26 liters. And up here, look how small this is. 3.8 liters is this betta fish tank, which is meant for betta fish, which. Obviously, I would not put a beta fish in something this small. It's like, just like that, but this is multiple times bigger. Like, so obviously, this thing right here is significantly smaller than this 26 liter bin that we're about to get our beta fish for. First, we gotta make it though. So, Nick's picking out a, bed, a bunch of decors right here. We're doing white rock here. Uh, we got, this is what you want. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna do that as our little decor in the middle of it. And I believe that's probably it, right? We gotta do this orange one, dude. You gotta do this. You gotta do this orange. I just, I'm feeling that, you know? All right, now we need a filter. I have one. Got a filter? Yes. Okay, so we got a filter. I'm gonna get some dechlorinator, not only for this, but I gotta fill up my tanks in my house. And also, what do we need? And then a heater. Here we go. Let's get this little two to 15 gallon right here, and you need one of these four betta fish, so buying. So let me run you through what we've got in total right now. 26 liter bin right here, our two to 15 gallon tank aquarium, heater, our bright orange and yellow plant, our little stump, tree stump here with a bunch of little artificial plants stuck onto it, and of course, our bag of white gravel. One, two, three, four, five objects that are gonna make a dope aquarium. Now without further ado, let's see the final price on all this stuff. When'd you get this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And total for all of these gadgets to make this aquarium is forty-seven oh two. All right. Back home with the bin right here. Now the plan for this video is for me to build this bin right here into like, say a bigger aquarium, right? Just in a homemade way. And then transfer Nick's betta fish, which is at his house right now, and it's in a bowl into this bigger fish tank. So now it's gonna have a bigger space. And that space is gonna be a homemade bin, just like a fish tank. It's just even cooler. So without further ado, I'm gonna start building this homemade aquarium. Uh, get all the products out. What's up, Lulu? Just had some dinner. The pig is getting huge. Got our plant right here, our heater right here and a rock right here. And I've gotta say, this is probably my favorite types of videos, one of my favorites at least, to film. I love making stuff like this. As you tell, I've done it multiple times on this channel, but uh, I just, I have an enjoyment of it. I, I don't know, it's just, I like it. Alrighty, gravel is now going in. Spread that out. Now, go rinse this. Get our biggest decor, put it right smack center there. And this little fella, which is the one that I really wanted in this aquarium, is gonna go right here. You go right in this corner right here. The beta will be able to go through all these little holes down in there. Not only that, he has a little resting spot. Beta loves to just like rest on stuff. And then, are of course our heater. So Nick actually only lives a few seconds away, literally seconds. So the plan is, I'm gonna take this heater out, put it to the side, fill this up with water, get his little filter running on it for a few days, and then I'm gonna bring it over to his house, 
and show him the finishing touch because he's not here now. He left earlier and uh, I'm setting this up. Even though he knew what we picked out, I'm just setting it up and I'm going to bring it over to his house once it is done. I'm going to run this tank over to here, right there, fill it up with water. Filling her up. And now that that is filled up, it's actually not heavy at all. So I'll be able to carry this, not only the filter media, but the water as well, to where this is just a mini little ecosystem here, a uh, livable environment for a betta fish. So we're gonna plug this in. Ow, I just hit my head. Okay, we're back. And now, as you can see, our filter is running. So, without further ado, this is running. I'm gonna leave it here for probably a, a few days just to get it cycled, like I said. We don't wanna just throw a betta fish straight into tap water. I will be picking up this camera in uh, just a few. And here she is, boys and girls. Doesn't look much different at all, but that's a bit different. I think we're ready to roll here. Beta fish is about to get a new home, and this thing is surprisingly not heavy at all. And we are here. Alrighty. I just plugged it in. I'm just gonna slide it in right here and put pretty much all the wiring on one side. So now we've got one filter. Nick had this little one right here as well and then many heater. So two filters on there, a heater, which pretty much just takes up that little corner there. The little tiny aquarium. If you take out the filter, um, this is actually just a $40 aquarium that pretty much anyone could do. We've never done something like this before. We've done like little mess around ones, but this is legit. And here is the little bowl that she's in right now. Uh, the only problem with a bowl, not only because it doesn't have a filter on it, it doesn't have a heater, but it, it literally just gets so dirty. Like you get like musty stuff on the top of the water. It just gets disgusting. So the main deal is, where is she? Where is she? Oh, oh she's hiding. There she is, right there. That little fish right there is going to go in much bigger aquarium right here. There you go, bud. A betta fish inside a homemade aquarium. Nick, what do you think about your little homemade aquarium here? <laughs> Are you kissing it? Oh, well, I, I think he likes it. Look how cool it is. Dude, that's much bigger than that bowl, too. So a little upgrade there for the betta fish. Not only is it out of this little bowl, but it's, it just looks really cool, and it's a fun project. Where is she right now? Right there she is. She's hiding in the back right there, a white opal. This is the white opal betta fish right here. There she is, chilling in the new aquarium. So, right there, that is that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to do a little upgrade of a homemade aquarium, something I've never done before. Homemade aquarium, 6.87 gallons is how much this tank, 26 liters, is right here. Yes, I'm not good at math, so I had to look it up. <laughs> there, there is that though, 6.8 gallons compared to a, if a half a gallon right there. Why howdy, uh, we're back out here in the backyard. I'm gonna finish off this video hanging out with the new fish. Our pleco's in the back corner. That was caught last video and also our paku, which did eat today. One day into it, just one day, and all four paku ate this morning. So that's a very good sign. As you can tell, they're looking healthy. So is the Playco over there, just chilling. Before I get into the positive comment shout out just yet, I wanted to let everyone know that hasn't done so already to join the family. Hit the subscribe button, I say it every video for a reason. I feel like we passed 500K yesterday and we're already almost at 530. Maybe we were already at it by the time we made this video. I couldn't thank all of you for the support enough. It is absolutely amazing to do something that you love and then have other people love it as well and tag along for every journey. And that is why I do these positive comment shout outs, not only to spread positivity, but to also engage with my viewers. That is a big key in YouTube. Without your viewers, you're honestly, at least YouTube's nothing. So today's positive comment shout out goes to Sawyer. Been here since 10K, you're the best, Paul. Keep up the great work. Will do, Sawyer. And uh, I also threw in an extra one today, just because Charlie says, I wish you could post 10 times a day, also I wanna win. So Charlie, you just won. And also, sadly, holy moly, I wish I could post 10 times a day as well. But this video right here, this just this one yourself, I've already edited it up to this point, and I'm already four hours in, at the least. It takes a while to edit when you put all those little sound effects in there, you already know. And hey, if you wanna win a positive comment shout out, all you gotta do is drop a positive comment in the description down below, and you could be in one of these upcoming videos. Do me a favor and hit the like button, I'm actually gonna, I'll, I'll wait for you. 
Let's get 15,000 likes on this video. I know we could do it. Thank you all for watching.